Wow, <laughs> Wooly here. Check this out. That is technically an earth ship. It is. Uh, uh, it's the kind of glass bit of an earth ship. So, yeah, it's as close as we could get um, without actually building the whole tire thing. Without ramming tires. Without ramming tires. Yes, yeah. <laughs> ramming tires is a good, good term. Guys, yes, welcome to Woolies World. We are at Lacken Farm here and we're going to have a little tour and we're going to look at some of this off-grid lifestyle that's going on here uh, just up the road from me. Stay tuned. So look, you've met this man before. If you are a subscriber to my channel and if you, especially if you tune in, uh, to my live streams you have seen my live stream with Steve and finally I am getting around to coming up for a tour so I am not going to be in this I know you're very sad I'm not going to be in this a lot but we're going to go around and we're going to have a look at some of the we're going to look at some of the stuff going on here there's a lot of stuff going on here I got to say it but we're going to have a look at some of it okay so Steve is just going to let us know what's going on here and how we get started okay what's going on um everything we're into everything here. <laughs> um I like tinkering and making stuff and trying out people's ideas. So if someone says, oh yeah, this is great, we'll build it, see if it works. Okay. You know, some of it does, Test some of it us. doesn't. Yeah, right. we looked at some stuff today that we're taking out because we built it years ago and it doesn't work. Okay. Um, and then we're looking at some stuff that like, like this, which really does work. Check um, that out, guys. Check that out. That's that, and you're, you were telling me that this is made from recycled materials. So this is made from 8 mil shower walls. 8 mil shower walls. Come off a building project where they weren't needed. Um, I mean, <laughs> they look like they should be, you know, they were going to be something. They were a greenhouse or whatever. Yes. And sat on them for three years, maybe. Ah, so we finally okay. decided, decided to build this. what it was that we would do with them, yeah. Um, and basically, they're keeping that house warm. Warm. We're on the south side of the building and they mean we don't have to heat that room. Okay. Most of the year. Most of the year. And we can grow things. Yeah, you know, we grow food. And it's a greenhouse as well, and, and that's where you grow your food. food. Check it out. Check out the roof. Which is straw bale insulated. So the roof is insulated with straw, with bales of, bales of straw. Straw, not here. Straw, yeah. That's the important thing. Is that's that the important thing? Okay. Yeah. What, what, what would be the difference between here and the straw? Uh, it's something to do with the, the, you know, the tubes yes. in the actual straw keep yes. the heat in, so you've got basically air trapped within the it, Within the tubes the itself, thing, yeah. yeah. Okay. Whereas, whereas here is just grass. Here is just dry just grass. Just dry grass, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm going to have to figure out how to, how to get the two of us in the shots when we're talking about stuff like this. I'm a really bad cameraman as no, well. I can't, I can't <laughs> see whether I'm in shot. So. Nay. <laughs> Mel has been rolling. Why are you kicking your feet? Flies. Oh, flies. What are you sniffing at? It's the smell of the dogs. Must be the smell of my dogs. Check it out. <laughs> Check these out. Don't bite me in the arse now. Check these out. So you're going to have to tell us about these, Steve. So these are very old 80 watt solar panels. Right. That were on the roof of a church in Belfast for a long time. Right. He threw them away because they were getting bigger, shinier panels. <laughs> uh, Would you stop? Don't <laughs> <do>. <laughs> I can't, can't get rid of the horse. <laughs> he's nibbling my shoulder. Well. So. Hang on. No, no he's okay. He's okay. No, just sorry about He's going to knock that. Not me. You're worried about my tripod. camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if I get trampled by the horse, as long as the camera doesn't. Uh, so you got them off a church? We got them off a church, St George's Church in Belfast. He were very kindly let us have them. Uh, he just wanted them cleared out of the way. <laughs> Licked by the horse. <laughs> and so all, all everything for free. Everything for free. And is this enough to run your house? This is about three kilowatt, which was enough to, enough to run our house for quite a long time when we were we were being quite frugal. Okay. Um, but still, it's three kilowatts, three kilowatt, you know. Okay. Um, these days we've as much again of new panels, so we've. we've That's more, over here. More over here. And then modern 50 watt panels and 
someone that was there that you know, we've gradually kind of collected them. <laughs> Everyone's joining in now. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by ponies. Yeah, it's no. like the horse whisperer. Yeah. Horses are attracted to they me. Don't get this. This is the exciting. They don't get a lot of entertainment. <laughs> so, so. And then the camera is like we we have this. Oh, the wind turbine. Yeah. And look, check out the mountains in the background there, guys. The morns. Right. I think we need to go look at your storage system and how you're how you're you're running those batteries. Yes. It's impressive. Do. Let's do that before these horses decide that yeah. enough is enough. Get out of my field. So this is what's running uh, two cottages here. Uh, we've got. One big 8 kVA inverter, which is doing everything really. The forklift batteries, another box at the front there. Uh, we have a cheap grid tie inverter. The orange one. The orange one, 100 quid. Right. Uh, which is, we haven't, well, we're making the grid here. So we create a grid with our inverter. This thinks it's the grid, so it works basically. Okay. Because uh, they, they're cheaper to come by. Okay. Good time inverters. Uh, so all that new solar in the field, yes, is connected to that, which, right? Which thinks it's connected to the grid, but it's just our your grid, our our grid. If you like. Yes, yeah. So it's just a cheap way. And it's of, all going down into these batteries. Then. Cheap way of adding more solar, yeah. Which is two forklift packs, basically. Okay. And so it's stored in those batteries and then trickled into the house, or it's trickled into the batteries, or hang on, <laughs> comes out, comes out of the solar. Yes. There's two these two charge controllers here. Right. Into the batteries. Yes. Where it's stored. And it comes from the batteries to the inverter. It back into the house. house. Okay. And then the house is just wired kind of normally. And then we've another box for the wind turbine controller. Which is another inverter basically. Th this one here? Yeah. The big one behind you? Yeah. And have a thing in the corner, the eddy, which is the box at the far end. Which, once the batteries are fully charged, then we heat. Any spare power goes, it uses an immersion heater in the cottage. Okay. It heats the hot water up in there. Wow. And when that one switches off, it starts heating the one in our house. Okay. So as from about April time, all our hot water just comes from spare solar. Wow. And we don't have to light the fire. Class. <laughs> so it just means that we don't waste any. Yeah. And if you were on the grid, it would mean that you weren't selling power back to the grid cheap. Okay. You were keeping it for a yourself. Lot of people, yeah, most, most systems know that you, you put this in because you don't want to be selling it back to NIE or ESB for pittance. Yes. And then paying more for it when you come home in the evening. Yeah. Basically, you, know, you store as much as you can, you use it as it's generated. Yeah. And you're not giving it away. Brilliant. And it's a cheap way of, and, and most people have an immersion here. Yes, of course you do. So yeah, which costs a fortune. It, which the is dreaded immersion! <laughs> Dreaded immersion, so it's much easier just to feed the immersion heat there that you've already got. Mm -hmm. Even if you do nothing else, you know. Yeah, still save me money. Still save me money. That's mental. And you easy heat the domestic tank in a day. Usually by about lunchtime. It's all the hot water in both houses is eighty degrees. Done. Done. The batteries are full. That's that from April onwards. From about April onwards. From about now, we're kind of relaxed about now. Yeah. And what what about winter then? Winter we get. We're okay. We get through. We and we have a I have a six kVA generator out here as well, which we fire up maybe once a week. Okay. You know, from December January. And that is just to put power into That's the batteries. Just to, just to keep the batteries healthier. Okay. Um, and just as a sort of backup of last resort, but we don't use it very much. It maybe does I don't know, thirty hours a year or something. So if the batteries are not getting, is like, is there a recommended amount of voltage that they should be getting, or or they're going to start breaking down? Is that why you're throwing the? We're just trying to keep them above fifty percent charge all the time. All the time. Okay. Never go below fifty percent charge. The shallower the discharge, the longer they last, basically. Okay. But they're again, they're six-year-old forklift batteries, and they're they're quite happy. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll get fifteen years out of them. I reckon. Fifteen more. Well, I've tried. I probably another seven or eight years oh, now. cool and they're, they're compared with lithium okay but to give you some idea that there that that's that's a 10 kilowatt lithium battery right which gives us about the same usable power as all that lead wow and there's like what there's a well over half a ton of lead yeah so that's how much pay three times as much yeah but it's yeah but it's 
tiny by comparison. One like, sixth the size. If you're going to put it in your garage wall, then most yeah. people want that. I just yeah, I'm testing that for a customer. Lovely. Um, but yeah, so that's the difference. Basically. Yeah. But the lead is it's very hard to kill. Yeah. Because it's got water in it. Yes. Doesn't mind if it's a bit overcharged or a bit undercharged. It's all right. Is if you, if you use lithium, lithium the same way, you just burn everything to the ground. Okay. So it doesn't like burn the world to the ground. And when they go, they go. I think. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen videos of electric cars on fire. Yeah, yeah. They get they get hot. They get quite hot. <laughs> quite hard to put out. So yeah. So uh, lead is a little more, and um, because we've got the wind turbine as well, it's kind of more uncontrolled. So it's quite hard to attach that to a lithium battery, whereas the lead will just absorb that if it's if it's very windy. You can't just turn it off. Yeah, it's just going all the time. So with a turbine, you've got to either dump the power, uh, or your batteries have got to be able to soak up a bit extra. So lead's better for that. Okay started out being very small when we first came here we it's got bigger over the we years. had about five or six solar panels and we ran all our lights off it and every night we would turn all the power off to everything and then we got a fridge we had a bit more and a bit more yeah yeah i mean a child we yeah all got completely, <laughs> yeah, completely really out of hand to do this <laughs> it's all fine till then so what's this structure now this is a straw bale timber frame roundhouse Nice. With earth plaster. So that's clay, sand, and a bit of horse poo. A good measure. Um, we'll have a look in a minute. It's got straw bale roof again with pond, not pond liners. This one's got silage, silage sheet on it, waterproof it, straw, carpet, and then soil on the top. And basically we cleared the soil from this spot, put it to one side, put it back on the roof. So it's just the same soil lifted on the up roof. a bit. Yeah. Nice. Uh, frame is made from birch. The dogs are rummaging around next to me. This by the way, since this is the reed bed that cleans all the grey water out of our house. Oh! Okay. It's hard to tell at this time of year, it looks a bit dead. There's another one up there. See there's a See there's a tank in the yeah, bushes? Yeah, I see it, yeah. For the gravel. Right. So there's a bit of an aside. Grey water comes from the house and the shower, you know, all the yes. stuff up there. Go see the gravel, comes down here, gets cleaned by the reed bed, goes on down to the pond, by which time it's clean. Ah. It takes care of all our, our grey water. Lovely. There you go. <laughs> No funny faces now. <laughs> it's that hole in the middle, it's just amazing, isn't it? Ah, uh, they're, they're great. And that's just uh, polycarbonate sheets from a... From someone's conservatory. Conservatory yeah. roof, yeah. 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 It's from the skip. Yeah, that's what I used to do some of the windows at Red Branch before I... Yeah. Or, you know, I, I changed it then. Yeah. So, and you decided this is the thing that, that I'm stuck on at the minute. You went through the roof and not through, and not through the wall with the stove. Yes, just because it was tunneling through the straw bale. Was, straw bale. Was just as perilous as going through the okay. roof. Okay. And I just built a box through the roof. Yeah. So there's and sealed it. There's a box that's quite a lot bigger than the flue. Right. It's packed with rock wool. Okay. So that there's a fireproof break, you know, between it yeah. and everything else. But this is our rainwater. That's actually the reason this building's here is because behind here, you see at the back, yeah, that shelf, that's our rainwater tanks. Oh, okay. So the IBC, their IBC, it's a chain of IBCs. So all the roof water from the house comes down into them tanks. Okay. And then we pump it around the place. It's lovely. Sort of filtered. The three filters with carbon filter and a ceramic filter in it. Okay. String filter so that we can drink it if we need to. Um, so they were sitting in the garden and I had to hide them and then this kind of one thing led to another. That's really smart. Because we wanted to bury them and put we're on rock. Yes. So I had to give up with that idea and then it was as easy, you know, I thought, well. This is all an elaborate ruse to hide your drinks and water. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, like I said, it works. 
one thing led to another, and the budget was about, I don't know, 300 quid. 300 quid? Okay. And probably, I don't know, what, 50 of that was, not 50 of that was straw. Straw. Solid sheet and the floor. It's just reclaimed timber. Everything else is from our land. Yeah. Oh, and the, what do you call it? The skins. The boards. I had skins, but they're, they're 50 quid a bundle, 60 quid a bundle, something like that. Right. And that's enough to do this and plenty, you know, and have lots of fun. That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, no, I mean, like, it's, it's not a lot of money. It's a, it's a lot of stuff for 60 quid. Yeah, yeah. You get a lot of firewood. No, I, I was looking at those exact bundles and I was thinking, you know, geez, you could do a lot with them down at Red Ranch. Check that out. This is, like, the most elaborate uh, uh, composting. I'll let, I'll let you tell me what this is, Steve. This, this is the, the, the result of 10 years research and development into, <laughs> into shitters. Um... <laughs> we've tried everything. We've tried buckets. We've tried long drops. We've tried uh, tree bogs, and this is the wheelie bin compost loo. So this is like it's sort of like a combination of them all because you've got your long drop option because it's, yeah. it's but it's dropping into a bin instead of dropping into a hole that you fill in. Yes. Uh, and check oh, yeah. this. <laughs> we want it. Enough room for people to be able to get in and out. Yep. Just got a sink, you can wash your hands, have to go outside. I don't have a sink. I don't want a sink. Well, you wouldn't fit a sink in mine, this is the thing. No, Not with all the birds that they put the spiders. You can use it as a bird hide as well. Yes. It comes in the tree. Right. It's just, yeah, it's really nice. People, we found that with compost loos, you have to. People have to want to come and use it. It's going to be bright and airy and yep. it doesn't feel like No, terrifying. I agree. I agree. And, and then they're more likely to use it. Because in Bangor, we had terrible trouble with some people just would come for a day. Yeah. And they wouldn't. They would like they would literally be, you know. They wouldn't go to the toilet. They wouldn't go to the toilet. I have done I have done it red. Stagger bench. off at the end of the day. Yeah. Um because they just wouldn't use that wouldn't use the lift. So we try to make it kind of not intimidating. Um but also easy and you know especially if you've got the public coming. I don't know what system you've got, but you don't want to have to handle other people's waste. No. At all. Yeah. So the wheelie bin's brilliant. We just wheel a bin out, put a bin in. We go have a look at that. I have to see that. Okay. A lot of cardboard. And a lot of wood chip. And a lot of wood chip, yeah. So, yeah, we, um, we know the guys at the Castle Wellen outdoor pursuits place and um, every year they get new bicycles because they do the electric bikes and uh, we, we don't even have to ask anymore I come home one day big pile of cardboard and it all goes into the garden for mulching stuff do you, do you use it to suppress the weeds yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you yeah. just open it up and lay it out yeah, yeah just we lay, used to do lay that it out well. and it just disappears you know yeah. we did all this this garden was all done last year and it just vanishes yeah and, and you can and you can plant through it as well I mean just plant through it yeah yeah and it just gives everything a head start and this is the wheelie bin. This is the wheelie bin. So what do you do at the wheelie bin then? So we there's, there's one next to that. So that one's that one's a full one. Right. That one's a filling one. Uh, we might need to buy another wheelie bin okay. here to kind of complete the system. Yes. And we'll, once that's rotted down, we'll chuck it on the fruit trees. Yep. And then just keep replacing them. So I reckon three or four bins would be enough. There's, you get a lot of waste into one bin. You like do, my, okay. my, my bin is just a little small, like a black bin about this size, you yeah. know, that you used to have before wheelie bins came along. And um, it's just buried in the ground, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, it rots down inside the bin pretty Yeah, quick, so yeah, it's it really very hard does. to fill up. Yeah. It took us a year to fill the first one. Right. But it just means we don't have to do anything with it. Yes. And we can get it around the garden to where we need to put it. You can wheel it without yeah. having to handle yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. And the hole's in the bottom, so there's no liquid. Yeah, of course. And this is your compost system down here. Look at all these polytones. That's your compost system down is, yeah. there. So hot composting, yeah. Hot composting. Let's have a look at that. Right. So what is this now? So this is our composting system. So all the garden waste, all the household waste comes down here. And everything is hot composted very quickly. Okay. Get it up as high a temperature as we can. So like 60 degrees, 70 degrees. 
briefly, it kills all the seeds, use it in the garden. Okay. And it means that you don't have t rodents don't have time to move into it. Okay. It's hot and it's only in there for a short period. And why do you have so many bays? So we start, put the compost in the first bay. Okay. And get it very hot. We only turn it once, maybe twice. Okay. Move it into the next bay along. Right. Take the wall out. We hoof it into the next bay. That turns it over. Gets air in it. Oh, you can it, remove the walls. Gets it hot again. Okay. Maybe you need to do it again. Okay. We usually have two lots going on at once. Okay. So it would work its way down, and then by the time, by the time it gets to the bottom, it's completely ready. And um, well, how long does that on. process normally take? Uh, you can do it in four weeks. Four weeks? Jesus Christ. You get it really hot. Yeah. That's incredibly fast. And, and what is the secret to getting it hot then? Mixture of stuff. So you've got to have lots, you know, your carbon nitrogen balance. So okay. plenty of green straw. stuff. Straw. We've got a bit of straw. We put a bit of horse shit in it, which yeah. helps it go faster. Um, grass clippings sometimes, but just cutting from the garden and stirring it well and off it goes. Right. Um, and pee as well. Pee. You pee on it. Ammonia. Activates it. Isn't this ammonia yes, in the pee? It. Isn't that what it is? I don't know. Okay. But that, that speeds it up care. anyway. Um, so yeah, very fast. And when it's going, it means that we've got enough compost to use in the That sun. is like one of the best composting sheds I've ever seen in my life. A deluxe. Account. Massively over-engineered. COVID, COVID thing. <laughs> with, the, with the plastic, recycled plastic stuff in the back so it doesn't rot out as well. Right. It's going to last, outlast me. <laughs> I know, I was really... I had nothing to do that week. Okay. <laughs> how, how long is this standing? This is very similar to what I'm trying to build down at Red Branch, except I'm using poles. It's I'm using trees. I'm only going to do six. One, two, yeah. in, two in the middle, and two to the far end. And it's probably going to be about 16 foot long. Same as this. This is about 16 feet, isn't it? It's not that, yeah. This is the length of your, of your built, timber. Yeah, I built it in lockdown, so it's, what, a few years old, three years old. Okay. And so you make know, it so much easier. You don't have any sense of support. That's interesting. I was going to bolt four by twos on here. Right. One there, one there. To front to back, do yeah. the same in the middle, do the same far end, and then run laths across them, and then put my tin on top of that. And now I suddenly think that I am over engineering no, something. Definitely <laughs> over engineering. Yeah. yeah. It's not going anywhere. No. It's just sitting there, just sitting in the ground. And I'm going to concrete the posts in as well. Yeah. Did you concrete these in? Uh, corners. The corners, yeah. That's all. Bit of post creek though, not post creek. No, that's what I'm going to use. Anyway, look here. Where well, we are rambling on. Look, listen. We that that is the hopefully the first of many. You're going to have to get in now. Come okay. on, don't we run away from the camera <laughs> now? The first of many visits, guys. Very very interesting place. Oh my god. I, how long have I been here? A while. <laughs> six hours. I've been here at least six hours. <laughs> I've been here since ten o'clock, half ten this morning. And what time is it? It's nearly four o'clock. Okay. Yeah, it's a long time. So this is, it is just six hours, yeah, yeah. It is very interesting, guys. And hopefully myself and Steve will be able to do some more stuff in the future. Hopefully. Wink, wink. Hopefully. <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Stay frosty. Take care.